tonight from Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. It's week one of the NFL preseason on EA Sports. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the 2024 preseason. I think that's what it is, man. Welcome back. Mike Tomlin's back. Aubrey Pleasant is a owner. Here we go. Steelers taking the field. They're all set as they'll match up with the Los Angeles Rams. I got all my backups in. Rodgers is not going to see the field until Charles maybe next Davis game or the game after. Up, we'll see. We'll figure it out. Folks, the wait is over. Yes, it's just the preseason, but football is back in your living room. here, baby. And I'm excited. I know you are as well. The summer heat feels good on these old bones. Yes, Especially sir. Because we're not putting on pads. We don't have to be out there in that heat running into other people. But I'm glad these guys are. Football is back. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. Leading the charge at quarterback, the former Georgia Bulldog, Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft, and he certainly played like a top pick throughout his career. He's been one of the most prolific passers in the league, and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon. I guess Watson, I don't know why. quarterbacks in the league as well. And that throw behind his man, he missed him incomplete. The Don't know why I watch him. Again, second and ten from the twenty-five. Elliot Donald's in. Oh, it's against his brother's team. And they're able to get this cool. One across the thirty-five. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that. It could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as mm. we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other, controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. The Marvin Lill got him in the offseason. Now Stafford. Then Woods has it complete. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Kind of wish TJ was not in there. Wish it was Terrell Lewis or... Oh, give me that. This one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. But we'll let him play the first, first quarter. Give me that. Jalen Armour Davis. So the Steelers now in great shape to begin their initial possession. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. It's pretty much become the norm when we see guys come out before a game and go through the route tree with their receivers. I thought it was exciting for us to see the exact same thing happen in practice. He's, not, so, he's so meticulous, isn't he? He really is, and it's not. that told me it's not just a one-time-a-week thing. They work on it all the time, trying to hone that fine edge. They want to see if they can get in sync and stay in sync in this one. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Well. They're going to look to throw. Over the middle, it's complete. A gain of eight there on the play. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. About to run with a running back that almost ended a friendship. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. 
If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, a new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Now back to throw. Escaping the pressure right. There we go. There we go. He was able to move around and found some vision to throw the football. And how about how he ended it? Boy, he had some zip on that throw. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to have an arm like that. Results in the touchdown here. Yes, sir. Extra point put through by Boswell. And it's now a 7 0 game. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Getting set to go again, Matthew Stafford trots back onto the field. And he'll look to rebound from the early interception that led to six points the other way. And when he threw Ooh. the interception... I guess it's because I signed people. I guarantee his yeah. first thought wasn't about Probably the interception it. itself, but what could result. And I know he was thinking to himself, come on, defense, bail me out. Well, they weren't able to in this situation. Now he's got to go out and atone for it himself, but he can't force things. They'll run on first down with Akers. And some space here. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the end zone before going out. 44 yards rushing for him now in his first two carries of the ball game. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. And this will be incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. Ooh. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Cameron Sutton. And the Steelers are going to take possession here. It's a touchback. And they'll take over at the 20-yard line. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. He'll drop to throw. What the hell? Incomplete, nearly intercepted. Another chance with that franchise. It'll lead to a fourth down. And he led me to like four straight Super Bowls. So, so that's the only reason I signed him. This one's away. It's a 45-yard punt, just a one-yard return. And the Rams will go on offense here with a first and ten. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And two interceptions thrown here in this first half. You hear it, no matter the sport, they say the great athletes, they can kind of have a short-term memory, but that's easier said than done. It is easier said than done, but I played with a guy who threw two interceptions in the first quarter of a really big game we were playing. Johnny Unitas? And no, not, not quite of that level <laughs> and not of that age. But I remember I was looking, going for the age. I remember looking over at him, and he was smiling. And I thought, what is he smiling about? It's because he had enough confidence in himself. And, and, and that was a fluke. And he went out and played pretty well the rest of the day. On first and ten, Stafford. Open man is Higby, the tight end. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Five yards on Donald, the come on, bro. Up second down. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And 
this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Yeah, damn it, you got to work on that tackle. Air under it instead, he fired an absolute bullet. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Here's Stafford. And that will be incomplete. Like Jalen Armour Davis trying to get some PT, ain't he? Fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. And that is no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Quick hitter here. It's complete. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Now P. Ryan. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Eason's throw complete there to Johnson. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Deontay Johnson, 40 yards. And the Steelers lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. And a nice job by him to catch the slant and then navigate and break free. And receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly. Yes, sir. On the move, so to move right down, they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Now they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there, we've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? There's Stafford. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. From the shotgun, here's a give to Akers. Oh, what a move. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 95 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. First down, they'll stay with Akers on the ground. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. This will be the first red zone opportunity now for the Rams. It's first and ten at the 14. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. On second and nine, Stafford. And that'll be incomplete. I just want to see what their first team can do, really. That's all I'm doing. Couldn't hang on third down. Oh, 
throwing on third down. Stafford throwing it in traffic there, and that's complete. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. So as they take it over, we step aside. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. They'll run for it with Akers. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And my goodness, they're now out of timeouts here in this first quarter. It's fine. It's a fucking preseason game. The again. offense a little antsy. The flag comes out. And a five-yard penalty. And that'll be accepted, of course. And that moves him back five. And they'll try again here first and goal after the false start. On the handoff, it's Akers. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six. All right, I'm going to have to go through here and change some players. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL. A Sports. Ooh, there we go. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two yard line. I like that. The Steeler defense proving its metal here. And now this is third and goal. And they'll run ah. And he takes it across. That sucks. Rams touchdown. Oh, Elliot Donald got hurt. From two yards out. Damn. This back to a one score game. Extra point from McManus is good. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offense's sails because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. And this is going to be a Steelers first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. They'll throw on first down with Eason. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Here's Eason off the play fake. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And Holy shit. Touchdown, Steelers. Seven yards, and the Steelers, they broaden their lead. Well, they went play action there and set it up nicely. for Holy him. shit. Fly, and they hit him downfield. And it doesn't take much to create that extra bit of space that a guy of his speed needs. If that was play action, fucking awesome. You want, it's just a moment where the guys covering take their attention somewhere else, and then he's by them. And once he's by them, there's no catching them. As they always like to say, if a receiver's even to a defensive Damn, player, that was amazing. Unless that DB is Charles Davis. In that case, he left me a long time ago. <laughs> Trust me. The kickoff team on the field now is they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. That was awesome. The completion, we're going to get a timeout. An injured player set to begin their next drive. The Rams offense at the line. Definitely the last thing you want to see here in a preseason game. We'll be right back. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
lot of guys play in this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Gonna give this oh, man. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And finally Damn. taken down at the 34. 42 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 34. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Now a give, right side, Funk. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. The Rams on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and eight. Now they'll run on the draw. Stays on his feet. And good power running, but he's still going to be about a yard short. It's a seven-yard run, but it does bring up fourth down. They'll run here with Raymond Calais. And I'm not sure he got there. We'll rock one more out with Eason. They did. So he needed the short yard as Charles he elected to try to bounce it outside of the outer third unsuccessful. Sometimes those plays are stacked up by the defense and there's nowhere to go, so you have to bounce it outside. Oh, that hurts. Intercepted. Picked off at the 18. And they will set up shot with outstanding field position in the red zone at the 17 yard line. Damn. Now a handoff here to his running back. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein it at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go. And sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. They'll drop to throw. And he's gonna go down. He sat back. Good in shit, forward. big cat. Well, you're already up a couple of scores here in the first half defensively, and Charles, they just seem to be playing really free on that side of the football. I love the observation because with that type of a lead, they feel like they can take a few more chances and be even more aggressive, and it's been paying off for them so far this game. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces them to settle for three. And it, it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. It's what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in it, and let him fling another one. And this is going to be a Steelers first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. He's across the 40 to the 41. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. 
But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. I mean, what the hell am I supposed to do with that? And we've hit the two minute mark in this first half of action. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line, and that is not near enough. The Rams are going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. So first and 10 now from the 30. Back to throw. He'll get this to Jake Funk out of the backfield. Clock continues okay. as the Rams try to get going again. Good stuff. Good fucking play. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he'll be oh. taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First down now, but that clock rolling. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to... And the pressure too much here. He's going to go down. Will signal for a timeout their second as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Good God. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's say, yeah, they'll spot it right in midfield at the 50. Call it a gain of four, but not enough. The punt team gonna need to be summoned here on fourth down. Hunter Sterling Hoffrichter out now on fourth down. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis. Or do you prefer ping pong? You know, back and forth like that? That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. So we have reached halftime in our first preseason matchup. Hell yeah. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. Back to you guys in just a minute as we've started the countdown to opening night. Remember, the preseason has shrunk from four games down to three. So just two more weeks of preseason action. Follow this, and then we get it all started on the first Thursday after Labor Day in our game. Most of the starters have made their cameo and departed, but plenty of youngsters out there with a lot to gain or to lose as we get you right back out to Brandon God. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. They'll set up to throw. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. 
They'll look to throw here. Well, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. The Steelers send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Forty-two yards on the punt, just two on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense him saying, OK, the first half was there. But now, let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced the punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. And again, this time to the tailback. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end. Complete. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. First down, he'll drop to throw it. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been many. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. And his throw is incomplete. Well, the passing windows are just not there, and that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I am. Teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game. That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. In this case, he picks up the first down. A gain of six there on first. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Damn, damn, damn. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. On second down, Funk, and here he'll get it down to the seven. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. Hmm. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now a hand Damn it. To his running back, and he'll get into oh. the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. A great play there. Ready for the regular season with his second touchdown of the game. And the Rams are able to get back within a touchdown. They'll look to throw mm. toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. 
Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere. Seeing that play, focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. And he'll give it here to his running back. He works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Give the tackle there to Keon Crossan. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They'll set up a throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. That catch good for five. It's third down. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. With nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job, CD. Got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, yes, sir. He's certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're Good shit this right game there. now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And a good gain here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. That was the ninth play of the drive, and they pick up nine yards with it. Second and one. Very quickly here, and that's complete. They got completion there. That's clearly an example. One side happy, the other side not very happy. Defense, very <laughs> Hey, take one or two yards. We're good with that. Offense, you've got to expect to get more on the passing play. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming out. Got his man. It's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Nice. Great effort there. There to make the grab. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or yes, sir. Because it was jab, 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 and finally the haymaker to put that drive. That is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out. Good to shit. Line as he's dropped it to 23. A look at the running back. The man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He is hoping to find the end zone for a third time. And we sit now in the third quarter. And nothing would excite him more. I think even more so his offensive line. Anytime you've got a guy scoring that many times, that means you've done a really nice job in front of him. You're always giving props to the big fellas up front. It's always a good idea. God dang. Massive men. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. 
And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And now here's a carry heading left. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more preseason football on EA Sports. Hmm. Come on, gentlemen. It's the last drive for a lot of these guys. Let's see what they do. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Ah, oh, I didn't know I was controlling Norwood. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they got to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll look to throw again. And he comes back with one complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. And to give this time to the tailback. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. What a catch. Zone touchdown Rams. A great play there. There to make the grab. And the Rams have made it a one score game again here in the fourth. Damn, what a catch. And now remember, all touchdowns are reviewed. And in a tight game like this, they're going to take a good long look at it. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big yeah, I think it was. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully oh, yeah. getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he takes this near the 20. Hell yeah, boy. Call it the 26. Now the Steelers getting set and ready for their next possession. All right, Jabari. Back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First downs a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. He takes this for three to the 29. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now a handoff here to his running back. Fucking Aaron Donald. His way up across the 30 to the 32. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. He'll look to throw. And he's got his man in stride complete. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup of a first down, 
that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Hands it off out of the gun. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, God. nice space for him. Yeah, this pass broken up. And well, that's on me. On third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Fair catch call for him made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. All right, all I got to do is stop JT Daniels. God dang it. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Now they go screen. It's complete. Who the hell was that? And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him eight. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. to throw now on first down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did Come after on, the boys. catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, oh. not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Come on, boys. Yards to go on second down. He'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. That's be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. Come on. He'll get this one complete to Atwell. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 39. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Back to throw again. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. They'll look to throw. And able to find Higby. It's complete. Got a starter in there against my four stringers. That's what I'm talking about. Get that dub, Rams. Get that dub. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. Oh, you got to pick that, Banks. And they hooked up there for a first down. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. A jet sweep. Here's Atwell. And they'll get this down to the 10. Fourth quarter. Down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. 
They come up on a first and goal with this game still hanging in the balance. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. The ball situated at the nine. Second and goal. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Rams have taken the lead. So now an extra point doesn't help much. They'll try to go for two to make the difference a field goal, and they can lead it by three. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he will not get there. Ha. He comes up short. Bitch ass bitch. And they're unable to push this lead to a field goal as it'll remain a one-point game. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So now the Steelers down on the scoreboard. A minute 40 remaining. You can't say the preseason isn't interesting. This has been great as they come up first and 10. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. And that is caught oh. on the right side line, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Eason. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Eason to throw. Flush to his right. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now Eason. Oh no. Well, that sucks. I don't know what the fuck that was about. Damn. Well, you knew you had to take some chances here with the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it. And that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the two-minute drill. The offense trying to go downfield and make their plays. But defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do, but not too far back. They want to be in position to make a play on the ball, and that they did. Damn. They'll keep it on the ground. Funk. And they'll get it up just well, short of the that's 45 it. at the 44. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy. Damn, challenging that, sucks. that defense and on that go around, well, the offense won the challenge. That's the game, ladies and gents. The Rams go victory formation as they take the knee. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. And they'll indeed take a knee. So the L.A. Rams with a victory here. And it took a big fourth quarter to do it, but they were able to get the job done, and that's the bottom line. <laughs> no doubt about it. And let's face it. They had to be more than nervous in the fourth quarter, but a lot of that was their own doing. I think you observed during the game, their energy level just didn't seem to be there. But in the fourth quarter, somehow they dug deep and found that extra bit, right? That reserve tank, they hauled it out. Offense scored some points, defense held them, and lo and behold, they walk away with a win. Maybe expend a little more energy than they expected to, but they'll take it. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Pittsburgh.